Hi, I'm Kerry Lord from Toft. This video forms part of a series to accompany the Edwards Crochet kits, patterns and books. So in this video I'm going to show um, sewing on Edwards Menagerie dog ears. Um, they can be quite tricky, it applies to other animals but certainly to dogs. Um, but this is where you're going to be adding all the expression into your animal. So it's quite um, key a key thing to get right. So I finished my head um, and I would be closing up the front of my nose once stuffed. Just by gathering the stitches there is a separate sewing up video um, so do go and watch that if you want to. I'm working on another Labrador here. Just do a running stitch around there. And close up those stitches. And fasten that off by going around a couple of stitches like that. Okay, now positioning your ears. Now, I think the first panic that people have is that the ears seem really, really big compared to the size of the head. And they are. Um, and if you were to sew them on like this, it's going to look far more like a fennec fox um, than it is a dog. So just remove that's my um, stitch markers there, just to mark my round end. So I'll just remove those. Um, thread the ear. On. and a lovely tip when doing any sewing up is to always leave a nice long end on so that you're not going to have to um, fix any yarn before you do your sewing up. So the dog's head's here and basically this back part of the ear is going to form part of the shape of the head. So it isn't that the ears are going on the top like that, the ears are going to come right down here on the back of the head and then we're going to fold that over and sew it into place so it forms floppy ears. Now, when I say that this is adding the character, it depends on your dog. If you're making a specific dog that you know that might have one ear up and one ear down, then try and match that personality-wise. Um, if they have floppy ears, sew them slightly further forward, or if they have very alert ears, you can always sew them on the back of the head but leave them standing upwards. So let me show you what I mean, but the key really is getting them nice and low on the back of the head. So that's the back of the head there. Make sure I've got it lined up. Hold it in place and then over sew between the head and the ear. The head and the ear. All the way up the back of that. And fold that. I'll bring that round to the front to make sure I'm following the right track. So come up across the top of the head, between the head and the ear. Now to fix it in position, so to make it floppy um, like that, so it's coming forward. What I'll do is hold the ear, pinch the ear in the position I want it to be in, take my yarn and my wool needle, and bring it through inside the head, through the ear at that point, and back over here through the other side like that, so it's fixed that ear into that place. It's just kind of tacked for now. Then carry on doing this side of the ear. And go, and then just position, or fix that into position a little bit more by going through the ear. To tack it in. There we go. And that's how you put an ear in position. So once you've done one, um, just repeat in exactly the same way with the other side. Um, again, you're probably usually looking for symmetry with ears, but it depends on the dog. Put that into position like that. Down the back. And it, ordinarily, um, the recommended order of sewing up is that you would have already sewn this head onto the body. So you'll have something else to line up to make sure that your ears are symmetrical. I'm just sewing the ears onto the head here because I haven't had a chance to make her body yet. That's next on the list. Um, so finish that through. Down and do the bottom in the same way. And as I always say with all sewing up, just take a little bit more time. I know it can be frustrating at this point because you've finished the crochet and you just want to finish the project as fast as possible. Um, the sewing up does take a little while. Um, it usually takes me 
probably at least half an hour to do a dog um, because you have got so many more stitches when sewing on the ears like this. There we go. So this is the bit that I think people find, can find a bit trickier. Pinch that ear into position and take that needle through the head and onto the ear. Go around one stitch because that's not going to make a mark. You're not going to see that stitch. Back through. There we go. And back through this side. And around a stitch. There we go. And then just fasten that off by sewing it into the head again. So just sew that end back in. And that is how you would sew your ears onto an Ed's dog. <laughs>